doing this, we sometimes get questions from people. Sometimes people will message us, uh, myself and Gonzo, and usually most people will go try to find out the answer, and if they can't find the answer out, they'll think, well, I'll ask one of those two, or, or both of them, and uh, hopefully get the answer. And this week's most last question is, what's happening with season ticket refunds? I'm seeing it more and more on, on my timeline on Twitter as well. The answer is, for West Ham, nothing. Nothing yet. Um, if there's a there's a, a bit on their website, and you click on it, it basically says, about season two, you click on that, it says, update coming. It doesn't give a date of that. But 12 clubs now, 12 clubs in the Premier League have now done something. Um, out of those 12, 10 of them have said pro rata refunds are being issued for season ticket holders for this season. Or you can use it as a credit for your season ticket next season. And uh, there's, there's one club in particular which I think is the right way to go. I'll get onto them in a second. But West Ham very much has nailed the other two, by the way, out of that 12. They've issued match refunds so for a West Ham fan you had a match ticket for the Wolves game or Spurs away for example you've had a refund Spurs away is a funny one the club haven't done anything with that yet so anyone with a ticket for Spurs away is still well they've still got the ticket uh, but yet Spurs have refunded their fans for that match doesn't really make sense does it so I mean I can only assume then that Spurs have then refunded West Ham for their away tickets which means West Ham have got the money back from Spurs, but they're holding on to it for whatever reason. Maybe they're hoping we're all going to get to attend the game. I don't know. I'm sure news will come out soon. But one thing I will say is the OSB. I mentioned this before. The OSB were sort of pushing the club for a pro rata refund. I, I genuinely believe they still are doing that, okay? Uh, I did say to the guy, the, David Baker, the chair, and say, well, why don't you tell fans this? Why don't you tell fans that you are pushing the club for a refund, that you are chasing it up, but you just had a, not had a response yet? And you say he doesn't really think they need to do that kind of thing, which is fair enough. But I think they do. But that's my own personal opinion. That's why I'm telling you guys. Because I think they could do with some good PR, I guess. Because I'm not their biggest fan. By no chance am I their biggest fan. But this is good work. The problem is, no one knows about it unless they tell people. So I'm telling you. Um, Brighton. Brighton are the club, I think, that have done the right thing. There's more and more clubs in the last few days come out. Norwich City, Brighton... Uh, Manchester City last night, they're all coming out now with their update, which is pro rata refunds. But Brighton have given fans three options. One, you can have your pro rata refund. There you go. Two, you can use it as credit towards next season season ticket. Or three, it's a charity donation. Actually, I think there's a fourth one now in there, which is uh, let the club have it. Don't want a refund. You keep it, the club. Now, this is where, I've said it before to Gonzo, I'm going to say it again. This is where if your club has really good customer service, if you've treated the fans really well, they might be inclined to let you keep it. If you've done bad customer service, you've been a little bit naughty. Treated them not too good. And I don't mean playing on the pitch. I don't, I don't mean results. I'm talking about how you feel valued as a fan, whether it's season ticket costs, whether it's about uh, the club listening to you. I mean, the fact that the club are taking so long to do a pro rata refund, if that's what they come to, probably ties in with that a little bit. The, the, the one that went first was Leicester. And if they'd said that, I think a lot of their fans would go, fair play, you can maybe a part refund or something. So, uh, yeah, this is where West Ham are really going to find out how much or how good their customer service has been. And I don't think they're going to like the answer, to be honest with you. M customer service is my thing in life. It wasn't really. I, I left school, I went into construction. And then we all got, I say we all, a third of the staff got paid off. I was one of those. I ended up in retail in management and retail, that's when I, I, I realised that um, customer service, I loved it. That's why I always try and bring customer service to Hammers Chat. It's not the easiest thing to do when it's, well, for you guys, it's a YouTube channel. And for other people, it's a forum. Uh, for others, it's a social media page. Uh, it's quite difficult to do, but we do our best. Uh, we do our best here. And something I, I guess I pride myself on with Hammers Chat. I do think our, our customer service is really good, but I could be wrong. You can judge that. So we'll wait and see what West Ham come up with. But the pressure's on to do a pro rata refund. That's pressure for all 10 clubs that haven't announced anything. Because the other 10 have done it now. No one has said, we're keeping your money. I think we're going to get a pro rata refund. We'll wait and see. Um, but this ties in. And when I did a video about two or three weeks ago about do you miss football. Because I thought I wasn't missing as much as I thought. I thought a lot of people were also in the same boat. But I'm going to take that one step further now. Not just are you missing football, but I think season ticket renewal time, and I'm not just talking about the health scare, like would you go next season anyway? A lot of people wouldn't, for obvious reasons. Let's just say it was 
okay. Let's just say you almost had like a 90% guarantee you'll be all right uh, thing. This is a hypothetical world, of course. I know that's not possible before someone tells me, but let's just say it was. Would you renew? I think a lot of people would now. And it's nothing to do with West Ham. It's nothing to do with how we play football, results, more. It's nothing to do with that. I think it's now down to how football fans have been treated in the last two months, which is... It's cash cows. You know, look how long it's taken for a lot of the clubs to come out and say, okay, you can have your money. Because let's face it, I speak about 90%. It's 90% probability at minimum. I'm as near to as 100 as you can get that we are not attending these games that are left in the Premier League. The only way that would happen is if they said, all right, let's just scrap football until January. And then we might get to back in then or something. I don't know. But they're not even bothering to speed things up a bit. But the way the Premier League's going about this stuff with the... The rule changes, the way that you know you can't tackle behind closed doors and all this and that. I really do think they're putting the final nail in the coffin for a lot of match-going fans. I think that's very risky. We've seen you know, uh, some of the big kit manufacturers now are going back to the clubs. Adidas, Nike are going back to their clubs saying we need to lower that £60 shirt price to £40 next season because their business has been impacted by it. So they need to claw back money and they know that in general, football fan expenditure next season is probably going to be a bit lower. And so football fans is probably, uh, sorry, football shirts is something a lot of people can go without. You don't need one, do you? So if you need to cut costs, that's something that's going to get chopped. Away you go. I do wonder if season tickets are going to be the same. I imagine demand is going to be a lot less due to health. But the way the Premier League has gone about everything in the last month or something with Project Restart, the lack of clarity, the ridiculous rules that they're considering, whether it's less than 45 minutes per half no tackling and training T- turn your head from tackling in games every time something more comes out you feel a little bit more distanced from the game you feel a little bit more i don't know the word because i think football should i think the season should be played to finish okay but the more i hear about things i do just think this is just it's just a joke uh it's becoming it's not even almost like a competition we don't recognize anymore it's gonna be a different game of football by the time they finish um, doing stuff to it, they're pulling pieces out of the game, they're adding bits and pieces to the game and it's no longer the Premier League we recognise um, for those older people watching I know you're always saying well it's not even the football I grew up with but I never grew up with that football I never grew up with standing at Premier League matches I've only known all, all sitting stadia so it's harder for me to maybe sort of say well it's different anyway because it's not for me, it's the same Um but I do think now, all this stuff they're going through, it's going to turn a lot of fans away. And, and it's dangerous. The Premier League are playing a very, very dangerous game with, with, with the match-going fans at the minute. In my opinion, I've got a couple of other things I've rattled through. Oh, a uh, cup final prize. I don't know why I read it like that. I'm reading my bullet points here. It turned up. Myself and Gonzo said we had a, a giveaway coming soon for our patrons. Look at that. There's a programme, a poster, a little... What do you call that? Is it a rosette? Is that what you call it? Big prizes from the 1964 Cup uh, Cup Final that West Ham won against Preston. So we're giving that away to one of our patrons. So the link is in the description below. Don't worry, I mean, guns are going to stop banging on about that. And only do it for the first couple of weeks in the month. Because we we do believe in our own. But we're often people. We think it's good value. So you want to sponsor Hamish Chat and help us out? Link's in the description below. Someone's getting that in, in, a, in, a, in a video soon. We're going to do a giveaway, draw a name and stuff. Um, the captains had a call yesterday. Noble and Dini were apparently the two big voices on it. And it's not going well for the Penny League. And uh, the Mirror are reporting that the project restarts hit a bit of a stumbling block again. And this time it's now the players because they're not overly keen on going back to training, which is understandable. But I do think, I don't think you can take that as a be all and end all here. I do think you have to let those willing to come back come back. George Baldock, the, the Sheffield United um, player, he's one of the first players I've seen, and certainly the most like, authoritative player, to say, I am ready to go back. He was saying basically, in my club and my doctors say it's alright, in the Premier League and the government are happy, I'm going back, I'm ready to go back, I'm excited to go back. Um, so that's interesting. So the people in the mindset of George, George Bordock go back, those that are on the fence, like I, I feel that Raheem Sterling was on the fence the other day, he might see George Bordock at training for a week, two weeks, and everything goes okay, he might get Raheem back. And then the ones that really don't want to go back, once they see everyone else going back and they've got something to go on, I think they might change your mind a little bit. I think you've just got to let 
natural human senses take part here, if that's even a thing. You know, everyone wants to have a shot, but no one wants to go first, do they? Do you know, do you remember, it depends what you call it. Um, up here, we called it Ding Dong Dash. You know, when you ring the doorbell, you knock on the door and you leg it as a child. Remember that game? We call it Ding Dong Dash anyway. Not Knock Run, I think is what some people called it. Everyone wanted to play the game, but no one wanted to ring the doorbell, did they? So it's a bit like that, really. You've got to let someone go ring the doorbell first, twice, and then you might be the third one that goes, oh, I'll have a go now, because the users have had a go. I think it's a bit like that, obviously. It's a bit more serious, I am aware, but you need something to go on. You need something to see evidence that it, it could be all right. And um, Sheffield United are back in training to, um, yesterday, I think it was. Uh, Noble and Vice were spotted at the West Ham training ground in their, in their gear, kicking the ball around. It was just those two, though. I don't know if there was more, um, but the photographer only caught those two. Or maybe they're just doing it in pairs just to drip feed players back into the club. Which is a very delicate situation. Um, and we've just got to trust the clubs, every club, to do the right thing here. Sheffield United are back. I think they're tr the only reason I'm using them because there's a bit more of a detail about Sheffield United than there is about West Ham. Which is, they're going back in groups of four. So they're turning up in the, in the, the car park with a kit on. And... Um, training in groups of four while staying distanced a bit of ball work a bit of fitness work a bit of gym work but one by one it's only one person in the gym at a time and then they're going home in the same kit they arrived in so it's starting to go back a little bit my worry with this is when the Premier League resumes because I do think it will resume in mid-June um, Italy said it has back uh, the 13th of June I think was the the date given for that which is not too dissimilar to what the Premier League are aiming for but I think the Premier League are now going to push it back to the 19th of June but Serra A is coming back in Italy, which is, is big. All 20 clubs voted yes to football resuming, which is huge, considering um, the, the club that's bottom of the league are nine points away from safety. Even they voted to go back. Um, they basically just voted for relegation, unfortunately. But I guess if, if it doesn't go back, what happens? They lose out on money, they go back, um, table gets finished as it is, points per game, whatever, and they get relegated anyway. So they might as well go back and secure the money I guess so that's that's big things so I do think the Premier League will return at some point my worry is that whoever whatever clubs are now better prepared now or with players more willing are going to have a slight advantage they're going to have an extra week of training an extra week of physical contact training eventually aren't they it's it's uh I wouldn't want to play Sheffield United or Wolves for example as our first game you know I'd hate to be who West Ham got uh oh, we've got Wolves We've got Wolves. Wolves and, Wolves and Sheffield United seem to be the two teams that are a bit more proactive with training. And that's and that's not a, 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 like a diss on the clubs that are in because it's not their fault. It's just it's just natural. Um, Bundesliga video. Ooh, uh, I'm working on that today, tonight. I'm going to get that up for tomorrow. Um, a few people have asked for it and I've caved. I've caved. My, my knowledge on the Bundesliga is average at best. I think I could comfortably speak to someone who doesn't know much about Bundesliga, about German football. But if you were to throw someone at me that's an expert and watches it quite a lot, no thank you. Uh, um, but I've done my best to have a little look at things. I've got all my notes here, so I'll be doing that and Charlie will be editing and then we'll get that up for you tomorrow. And last night I recorded a good video with Gonzo. It's an hour long, so it's a long one. Uh, don't know when it'll be up. It needs a little bit of editing. Gonzo's doing that fine tuning. And um, it, it should be a good one. It's about our last day, our last ever game at Upton Park, which was the Man United game. We were both there, fortunately. But we both had completely different experiences with the day and the match. And we just talk about it. And um, I think it's a really good video, personally. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, um, sorry for the bitty video. I'm just trying to do updates as we go. And every day has got different updates. So, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here and all that. Um, you want a chance to be in for that prize the link's in the description thank you we do appreciate it. we consider it as you guys sponsoring the channel we haven't had a sponsor for a while now understandably um so if you want to help us out it's much appreciated and i shall see you tomorrow morning take care and enjoy your day